Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Matt and welcome to GT Manager on the Steam Deck. Of course, we are on, if this will load, Steam OS. And this is actually quite important for a couple of reasons. First of all, we actually have a very nice performance overlay, but with this game, it is an early access and controller support is technically not here yet. So with SteamOS, it is incredibly awesome that we're able to go over to controller settings and then just like edit the layout so we can have different uh, types of keys being used on our controller. Um, this game is also really cool on Steam Deck as well, considering that the um, Steam Deck has the trackpad. This is mainly a mouse kind of game. Um, yeah, see, we can use the uh, right joystick or whatever as the mouse, but it's a little bit awkward. But having the trackpad on the Steam Deck, I've actually really liked using as a mouse. So before uh, we get too far into it, let's take a look at our settings. <coughs> So let us, I want to say when you first start the game, it is on good. So that would be uh, windowed mode, I think it was also on windowed. So I changed that to full screen. Resolution is uh, 720p. Then we've got uh, lighting quality on good, anti-aliasing on 4x. I mean, you guys can kind of read this from here. So we're kind of in this main area, uh, 60 frames a second, pretty standard. Let's go over to our dealership. We had a little bit of a drop here, but everything else looks pretty A-OK. -okay. The uh, CPU is about 34% GPUs. It's kind of all over the place. It's between like 55% and like 80%. Uh, but let us get into the important part here, which is the actual race. So you're just going to send them out to qualify. They're going to go through this little cinematic here. And already we're at about 45 to 55 frames a second, kind of on average here. Not too bad. Again, this is on the good preset. And yeah, let's just hop right into the race. Just see uh, what it looks like. So I'm going to take these guys, kind of put it on a slower mode. And the majority of the view is going, or the majority of the game is going to be in this kind of top-down view. So it's going to be with the driver's standings behind is a little bit difficult to see, but we are at a solid 60 frames. CPU usage is not too bad. We are under 50 percent. Again, GPU is kind of all over the place. It spikes and then it comes back down. But overall, we're sitting at about 65 degrees Celsius, so which in my mind is not too bad. So then we go into this view. Ironically, we actually lose some frames, which you would think that by having less detail would be more performance, maybe? I'm not sure what that is a symptom of, but that is just what I've noticed. But then when we go into the fast forward mode, then we definitely start losing some frames. Again, we're with close to about 60 on average with this mode. And then when we go into this kind of double speed mode, we lose some frames. So we untrigger it or untoggle it. We're back down to six. So we have got a little bit of a frame spike, but nothing too shabby. So I think for car number one, we're actually doing pretty okay. I think we'll keep them out for the time being. It looks like Fuel 34%, tire is 61. I think we'll be all right for the moment. Because you know at some point we're going to want to start pitting. It's probably close to about lap six, if I'm honest. But again, this game being an early access. Nope, here we go. We're starting to lose our tires a little bit. This game being an early access, there's a lot of things that can be changed. But I'm going to be honest, the fact that we have an F1 manager like game for the World Endurance Championship, where we have licensed cars as far as Celine, Porsche, BMW, Audi. It's awesome to see that Tiny Digital Factory, I believe is the developer's name, was able to get all of those licensing and was able to get some of the licensing for the hypercars for WEC as well. So this is just... I'm in love with this game, especially the fact that it's only $20. When comparing against F1 Manager, 
Oh, God. That first F1 Manager 22, I want to say, was $55, and then F1 Manager 23 was $55, and then finally they got the hint when nobody bought F1 Manager 24, and they're like, ah, maybe we should sell this for not $50 every single year. So the fact that Tiny Digital Factory is able to sell this, the deluxe version in early access for $20, is superb. So I think we're going to look at our pit stops. I'm going to go for fuel there. I'm going to go to fuel there. I'm going to hit go. And same for here. So we'll go through our pit stops. Oh, we're going way too quick. Sorry. <laughs> Frame rate was honestly not too bad at the pits. And then now that we're coming out of them, we're coming back into the 40s again. So we are currently sitting in 1-2 position on lap 10. This is where it's going to get a little bit interesting, considering that we're already losing our tires. Yeah, we've got a problem, because if we... Uh, I think we will have to do pit. I hate to say this, but we're going to have to pit them now. All right, so we do our pits, and we're okay. Interesting, so... They're saying the tires are still a little bit cold, so I'll let them heat those up. I think I'm more worried about making sure... So first place is going to be fine where he's at. So I want to make sure that this guy here is really going to start pushing. So we're going to flip our view back here. Well, I'd wish you'd say... Dude, you got... You got a lap or two to go. Come on now. We don't have time for this. So fast forward this a little bit. Tire print temperature is a little bit high, so we'll bring that back down just a little bit. We are already up into P3. I wonder if we can do a little bit of a push. Come on. Oh, we are so close. Come on, come on, come on. Up on the inside, we are now P1 and P2. And look at our Stephen Lake. He is currently nearly 12 seconds ahead. So now we are going to keep our other driver here, Dexter Patterson. We're going to keep him on number two here for speed. Just to make sure that uh, we're not... I think we've got enough for fuel and enough... Ooh, we should bring that down actually a little bit. Tires are going to go a little bit, so let's cool down that engine a little bit. Looks like uh, Stephen Lake has finished. Very cool. And then here we are. P1 and P2. Very cool. That's awesome. And... Yeah, maximum points. we got fastest lap of 154. We've got 30 points and 26. Awesome. So finally, by having great finishing, we're able to make a profit for this month. Next month, we're looking at Malaysia. We'll build the driver's building here. So in all in all, I think this is a fantastic game for the Steam Deck. Yes, there is some frame rate... Um, fluctuations, especially with the uh, good kind of graphics quality. Yes, I know I didn't go very much into the other graphics, but I mean, if we go into Ultra, I mean, it's for here, it looks fine. But let's just quickly duck into a race here. I will show you what I mean. So here we are in Ultra mode. GPU is at nearly 100% usage. CPU is actually doing pretty okay. Still under 50%. Uh, frames are now, instead of an average of 60, we're now down to an average of 40, and then we go into our double speed mode, and we're anywhere between 25 and 37. Uh, not ideal, but this is interesting. This is on the highest graphics mode, so I mean, if you really work with the Steam Deck, and you work with, like, having a frame li rate limit of 30 frames, this game would look perfectly fine in 30 frames on, like, just at a cap. That's, there's nothing about this game that really needs that high frame rate kind of feel. I personally like it, just because I'm like that. So if we pause this here, and then we look at graphics, and we go all the way down to low, and see how that goes. Again, we are now just solid 60. GPU is 
peaking as high as 79 percent pretty much on an average like 60 percent cpu we we're dropping a couple of points but it's not anything too bad and again uh frame rate is just a solid 60 so then we'll go into our double speed mode and we're losing i don't know 10 20 percent of the frames but i mean it's still pretty fluid so i mean this is entirely up to your guys's call if you guys want to do that high fidelity mode but with the cap to the 30 frames or if you're kind of like myself or you're okay with the limited quality as long as the frames are a little bit higher so again this has been gt manager let me all know what you think in the comment section down below if this is a game that you'd like to buy for 20 bucks or if you're going to wait for a sale um again thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this content make sure to like comment and subscribe we've got some more steam deck reviews coming up i imagine at some point, there are a lot of great games coming out right now, so stay tuned for more. Again, thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great day today. Take care. Bye!